Diaries. Welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 29th of September. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot and I will clarify with my Time to Shine Oracle. So starting off, what a good card for your overall energy. It's the Ace of Wands, something new, brand new opportunity fresh new start, something that you're really excited about, enthusiastic about, and it's very much an action oriented card. Your help or your hurdle, the five of wands, says it's time to leave any nonsense behind. If there are any conversations going on that you don't need to be part of, leave them where they are. Here she is, look. Here's the thunderstorm in the background and she's all right. She's got her umbrella and she's got her Wellington boots and she's focusing on where she wants to go. So very much a sense of leaving something behind that you don't need anymore. What do you need to focus on? We've got another ace. So in this first row, we've got two aces, another new start, fresh new beginnings, lovely new energy coming in. And this ace of pencils brings in new ideas, clarity, new information. This is this is the card when you work it all out. This is the light bulb moment card. So new opportunities coming in and lots of new information and a Really good opportunity to move forward and leave anything behind that really isn't serving you well. How can you help yourself? This is lovely. The Ten of Coins, one of the happiest cards in the whole deck. Happy home life, happy work life, career life, happy family life and spending quality time with loved ones and really appreciating the little things. It's also the card of financial peace of mind as well. Pulling it all together, the four of pencils says, just put your feet up, have a break, have a rest, just step back. Now, when this new opportunity comes in, it could come in quite quickly. And this four of pencils says, just take it at a measured pace. Don't go rushing off into everything. Just think it through. And the final outcome, we've got 15, the ego card, all about, again, leaving something behind. And it's things like fear and guilt and self-sabotage. Self-criticism is another one that you don't really need. Because she's moving forward. She's left the rocks in this bucket here. And she's moving forward with balloons, which are so much lighter full of self-belief, confidence and positivity. So let's get a few cards from this Time to Shine Oracle. I'll put them all out first and then we'll put the whole reading together. Here we are. Oh, three major arcana cards. Oh, what a good way to finish as well. OK, so here we are. Nine of thought here. This with this new opportunity saying focus on what could go right. Very often we are programmed to do just the opposite. So choose your thoughts with care and get your focus in a positive place. The two of wisdom. This is the high priestess card saying pause, wait, think things through. And it's fallen next to this one when we said just put your feet up, think it through. Have a cup of tea before you make your decision. So there's two cards together asking you to just take your time. Make sure you've got all your information. That's what the High Priestess does. She reads all about it. She finds out for herself and then she's very well prepared. What do you need to focus on? The Twelve of Wisdom is you being lovely individual you. It also asks you to look at things from all perspectives, from all directions, not just one, one direction. So you get a very broad view of everything. So looking at things in a new perspective. How can you help yourself? We've got the six of emotion. This is a card of the past. So you might be meeting up with somebody from the past. You might be reminiscing, but don't stay in the past too long. Because this card says, consider what you've always wanted to do. And this is what this opportunity might have something to do with. Something coming around again 
when perhaps the timing wasn't just on last time, it might be just ideal timing now for you to make the most of this opportunity. The Eight of Wisdom is the Justice card. And this says, do what you know is the right thing to do. Follow your moral compass. Be guided by honesty, integrity and fairness and let those lead the way. And your final outcome card is lovely. Eight of action. Things really getting busy. And it's lovely that it's on either corner here of the reading with this opportunity for a new start. I said this could come in quite quickly and I this card is real confirmation of that. So busy new energy coming in, end of delays, lots going on at all at once, you juggling lots of different things for the best reasons possible. So looking at the reading overall, new information, new clarity, new ideas and the opportunity for a fresh new start, a really lovely opportunity coming in, something that you've been hoping for and waiting for. There's also a chance for you to leave go of things which aren't serving you in order to move forward with these new opportunities. And the Ten of Coins here suggest a really happy outcome to this, happy home life, happy work life. Stay focused on what could go right Take your time in accepting this new opportunity. Just find all about it. Don't go rushing in and make rash decisions. This needs to be done in a measured and sensible way. Look at things from everybody's perspective and then expect to get busy. Delays over and here you are. You're on your way to something new. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening and watching. Thank you even more for liking, sharing and subscribing. It's free to do all of those things and it truly does support my channel. So thank you for that as well. Have a lovely week and I'll see you here again soon.